this is an entirely brand new technology. We've sold and manufactured breathalyzers for 15 years. We're the market leader in the US. We have 70% market share. With the rise of other wearable devices, we thought there was an opportunity to take a new technology. So we put an alcohol sensor that we developed into a wearable, and this is something that can continuously monitor your alcohol level. How exactly does it work? So it picks up the level of alcohol in your sweat, on your skin? It does. It does How exactly does it do that. that? You, when you consume alcohol, it's broken down in your body, uh, and some is actually excreted through the skin. So Backtrack Skin picks up that residual alcohol that comes out. Uh, we call that the transdermal alcohol content. Our algorithm is able to convert that transdermal alcohol level to an estimated blood alcohol content. Okay, and can we assume then that uh, this, this wearable device, you can sort of set the alcohol level to where you want it or whether, uh, ra uh, rather, where, where the limit is country by country, and then when you hit it or exceed it, uh, an alarm goes off or some sort of uh, buzz comes off, or what, what, what happens? You're exactly right. I mean, the, the possibilities are truly endless. So you could set an alarm. Your watch could vibrate when you get above a certain level. Uh, the amazing thing about Backtrack Skin is that it's a continuous monitor. This has never existed before. When you blow into a breath alcohol tester, um, it will give you one reading at one point in time. Let's say you're a 0.08 BAC, but with Backtrack Skin, it gives you a continuous reading. We can set it so it will read your transdermal alcohol level every second. So you could look back the next day and see how much you consumed the night before. So it, 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 one word that I picked up on a little bit earlier on, Keith, was when you said estimated. You know, how does this work with actual blood alcohol le level versus estimated? Well, basically, how accurate is the thing? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's very accurate. Uh, your BAC is constantly changing. It's either rising or falling when you're consuming alcohol. So it's always a moving target. Our breath alcohol testers uh, have law enforcement grade accuracy. So typically, you'd get to the third decimal place, 0.00. .00 uh, seven, for example, is a reading. Same type of result with the transdermal alcohol sensor. So here's the thing, uh, you know, transdermal alcohol sensor, the technology is the transdermal part, uh, you know, a sensor that can read stuff coming out of you uh, for, from your sweat, etc. Is, is it tailored specifically for that? Because I can think of, I mean, at least a dozen other uh, uses. I mean, salt content, uh, all sorts of other stuff. I mean, it could simply be, uh, it could be a lot more than that, is it? You know, we're starting with alcohol. All we do is alcohol. It's an enormous market. Around the world, uh, over 2 billion people consume alcohol. Um, and in the U.S. alone, 10,000 people die from alcohol-related car accidents every year. So it's a huge market. It's a huge issue with drinking and driving and other alcohol-related issues. So whether it's a breath alcohol tester or a wearable monitor, we're very excited about alcohol. With that said, we've had so many requests already from people that see the technology, and want to pick up other chemicals. And that is possible. We are uh, cautiously working on that. We want to hit alcohol. Uh, we want to knock it out of the park and hit that correctly first. But uh, of course, this can expand to test many, many things.